Now, the Crimson Tide would trail for most of the game 8-1. to one. After their new starting pitcher gave up four runs in just three innings off of three hits, two of which were home runs. But Alabama did manage to rally for four runs in the top of the ninth to make the final score a respectable 8-6. to six. But after the game, it wasn't a near ninth inning comeback that made the news. Instead, it was the fact that during the game, sportsbooks across the country had shut down betting on any Alabama college baseball game. This was triggered after a suspicious wager was placed on Friday's game, which included a parlay and a straight-up money line bet on favored LSU to win. Now, this bet was suspicious for a couple of reasons. First is the fact that pretty much no one bets on college baseball, especially not the significant amount that was reported to have been bet on this game. In fact, ESPN reports that FanDuel didn't take a single bet on Friday night's game, which means any bet of any amount would have been extremely noticeable. And so, when an Ohio sports book had a guy walk in and place two bets on Alabama to lose, they immediately contacted gambling authorities and shut down betting on Alabama baseball across the state, which resulted in other state sports books doing the same thing. And upon review of security footage and phone records, it was revealed that the man placing the bet had been making calls to Baton Rouge, and that the 